Welcome back to another episode of Lifetime Talks. I'm Jamie Martin, and I'm here without my co-host, David Freeman, today, but I have an amazing guest. You guys all probably recognize Annika Christ. She has been with Lifetime for many years, and we are going to be talking about the story of Lifetime Nutritionals today. Yes. Annika, how are you? I'm so good. Thank you for having me, too. This is a really fun story, but before we get to that, I want to make sure everyone knows your, your background. Annika is a diet, registered dietitian and personal trainer and currently the Senior Director of Nutrition and Weight Loss at Lifetime. She spent the last 15 years creating nutrition programs and solutions for both members and personal training clients. And you probably recognize her as Coach Annika from member favorite programs like Detox, Lean and Tone, or the 60 Day Challenge. You've been doing a lot of really fun things over the years, Annika. I try to have fun. What do they say? If it's if it's not fun, it's work. So well, right. that's my goal every day, like making it fun, having a blast. I know. I feel like we get to do that in our roles. And then the times we get to work together, yes. it's even more fun. Add to that. So. Absolutely. And you are one of our most regular guests. You're colleague Sam I think might be like winning that tally right now. Oh, yeah. Samantha McKinney and she's Paul Krigler. She's the Kriegler. smart one. So. Oh come on now. <laughs> she's the good one. <laughs> <laughs> okay so we're talking Lifetime Nutritionals and this is a pretty interesting story because for the past 20 plus years Lifetime has been in the space of supplements and having different vitamins and minerals but it's not a part of the business that's gotten a lot of attention but right. It, we want to talk about that. We want to change that going forward. So tell us a little bit to start about how Lifetime got into this in the first place. And again, it yeah. was a long time ago now. Yeah. So I've been around for 15 of those years. So I always tell people I started in the clubs in our Arizona market and there was this legendary story that I even heard just even as a brand new team member being a nutrition coach at Lifetime. And it kind of comes with our founder, Brahma Crotty. And I will say when it comes to supplements at Lifetime, it's kind of our best kept secret. Usually if you've heard about them, you've done one of my programs, or maybe you're working with a trainer. And so we're trying to do it more due diligence on kind of telling that story so that if you're not in that program or working with a trainer, you know about it and you feel really great about it. What I love about kind of our members is they know the quality of Lifetime, right? Mm -hmm. You see it every day you're in there. We do no shortage there in the supplements either. And I know we'll kind of get into that a little bit later, but... Where it started is 20 plus years ago, Baram was taking supplements. And if you know the guy, I know him really well. He loves nutrition. He values nutrition really well. So he really lives and eats that lifestyle. But he is always curious of, hey, what am I paying for? Is it actually what's in there? And that's kind of how the industry is known. I know a lot of clients I work with, they're like, oh, I heard this is snake oil or mm -hmm. this is a waste of money. We hear that all the time. Yeah. And so he actually funded third-party testing on the products he was taking at the time. So you send them into a lab, they'll actually look at it, measure it, and see, hey, what's in there, what's in there? And he found out later it wasn't, and right. that the results were abysmal. And so, and there was probably things in there that he didn't know what was in there. And that's right. kind of part of the industry. So from that day forward, he decided like, hey, Lifetime's gonna offer something better that is the quality that the customers are expecting when they purchase and spend money on taking a product like that, but that it matched the quality of everything that we do at Lifetime. And so mm -hmm. since then, I think it was 2002, we've wow. had supplements on the shelves inside of our cafes, mm -hmm. uh, inside of our clubs, and obviously available online too. But learning that as I was coming in, I was like, wow, that's incredible. Like, I couldn't have funded that. So sometimes mm -hmm. you rely on certain people to do that and kind of expose some of some of the nuances in certain industries. But that made me feel really proud because uh, you said it, I'm a dietitian. So you kind of get into this industry knowing that people need supplements, right? If you're stressed, uh, just today's lifestyle, the food in America, there's several reasons why. But the problem, as you know, so much of the industry is really tainted and that they can be wasting your money. So mm -hmm. I've always felt really good that, A, we have something that people need and desire, but then, B, still to this day, the whole point was doing something that was high quality, but knowing what was in there, feeling confident and be able to mm -hmm. share and educate that. And that's what we're trying to do now is to kind of share that story so people feel really good about taking our stuff. A hundred percent. And when you talk about the different like attention to detail that goes into our supplements, we're going to go into depth on that later. But I do think, you know, the commitment by Brahm and the team, even to, back in 2002 or whenever that was, I always think about when I think about our facilities, like every detail down to like the color of the grout in the corner of the shower is thought about, yes. you know, and it's because we want it, we care about all of those little things. And that's true, whether it's in our facility or a product we offer or a nutrition product that we offer as well. So absolutely. And as you were just saying, like we're trying to, you know, members know, some members know about it. A lot of our team members know about Lifetime's nutritional story, but we want that to expand because 
we know that the health and nutrition of America and just more broadly in general is not that great. And our products can help supplement that. So we want more people to know about it. Our products have largely been known as like supplements by Lifetime Fitness over the years. We've yeah. recently, we're in the process of rebranding to LTH. Tell us a little bit about that evolution, how we got to that. Yeah, so I think for a lot of us, you know, health as well. That's what yeah. I think of when I think of Brom, when I think of team members at Lifetime, like we will invest in our health that if you don't have your health, you have nothing. I right. think we really live by that. I think for us, for Lifetime Fitness, the company has evolved. So we don't call our destinations that anymore. Mm -hmm. So for a long time, our supplements still had that trademark on there. And really our goal was, hey, let's refresh. Let's make it new. So as we're telling that story, like make it be something that stands apart that people can start to recognize. And for those listening in that have been fans of our line before, you're going to see a little bit of a facelift over mm -hmm. the next coming months. And we're trying to make it easier to actually pick the products that you need. So you're going to see some different marks on each of the bottles that kind of show the key benefits of what's actually in the product. Um, when I think of my clients, I do a lot of education. So mm -hmm. they know the reasons why magnesium is necessary, for an example. But for people just walking by or coming in the clubs that aren't getting that education, mm -hmm. trying to make it much easier. Maybe they know and learn about magnesium, but hey, what's the key benefit to that that I can quickly pick up so that when I'm looking or shopping, I know what this supplement actually helps with. And we could go on and on on, there's so many gaps just in our diet today. So, mm -hmm. but I understand that everyone's like us or me where they'll just do things for the health of it. So it's like, right. well, what is this actually gonna do for me? And do I absolutely need it? Uh, so we're doing a lot more education on calling that information out, but then also outlining like, hey, if you could only take one thing, what's the thing you should go after? And what's great about Lifetime, our customers walking in, they're here, they're there to move their body, right? right? That's what's so great is we have so many different ways and options to move your body, and that changes your needs with nutrition too. So understanding mm -hmm. is there certain things to help with those movements as I prep for those movements, as I recover from those movements, or if I just am just everyday wellness, what can I do to get better? Mm -hmm. um, and not to mention, you know, a lot of my clients, they're on certain medications, and we do a lot of education on hey, what, do, what nutrients do medicines deplete in your body? Right. And that's always just a huge learning that they didn't pick up from you know, their physician or whoever had diagnosed or put them on certain things. So just learning like, hey, that's fine, but like, what do we have to do on the offside to help support your full body metabolism? Mm -hmm. And that's been pretty eye-opening for a lot of our members as well too. Yep. I just want to kind of go on that for a little bit. What, a couple of our editors for Experience Life were recently at the annual conference for Institute for Functional Medicine. Oh, cool. And this was the first year that they've been there where supplements had a really huge role. And I remember them coming back and they were saying like, it was the first year where like supplements are no longer like kind of like a, this nice add on to nutrition. It's really yeah. becoming foundational because of the way our food supplies have changed because of the way, you know, people are eating or the, all the medicines we're on or yes. whatever it looks like. So I was really... I was like, okay, this is no longer kind of an either or thing. It's a both yeah. and yes. in this space. It's like, yes, we have we want to eat well when we can, but that's even a challenge in today's environment. But then having these supplements that can help fill in the gaps is going to become more and more critical, I think, not just now, but in the years to come. Yes. I think some good examples of that too, because when I started in the industry, I had some clients, but I remember a lot of people thought, we were like, oh, I can just outwork a bad diet. Right. And now I feel like most people are like, no, nutrition's a big part of it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like supplements are kind of having their day now. Like, right. oh yeah, it's absolutely critical. You could eat perfect, but the food doesn't have the nutrition it once did. And right. that has a lot to do with the soil that it grows in, the right. processing that we do in. There was new studies recently on just like I think it's estimated over 70% of the average American diet is ultra processed, which has nothing in it. And right. I've seen it and I've been fooled by that too. You see healthier choices for processed food and you're like, oh, it's gluten free or, mm -hmm. oh, it's at this specific grocery store, but then there's nothing really in it that like helps fuel your body. So I think in America, we, we really value convenience. I get it. I coach a lot of parents. Parents mm -hmm. are especially, there's just a lot on everyone's plate. And I deal with a lot of kids that are on medications to help with their brain health. And so it's talking that through, like, did you know that this medicine depletes melatonin in their body? And they don't know. And then the next thing is, do I need another pharmaceutical to help with sleep? And I'm like, well, actually, what if you just supplemented with melatonin because this drug depletes that? And they're like, no one's ever told me that. Mm -hmm. And that breaks my heart a lot of the time. And that's where I'm like, that's okay. There's a use case for a lot of pharmaceuticals, but 
the back end that needs support is the nutrients that they actually unlock and deplete. And if you can support that, you can help people feel better, especially at that young age. So that's a real big part of my corporate team. There's a Mm -hmm. corporate team of dietitians, and we do a lot of education to help trainers and their clients and just members in general with that, for sure. I mean, I think that's a differentiating factor right there in terms of that, the education that we're putting out there so people understand and know, because really education is power, right? When we give this information or share this information, do with it what you will, but you can be empowered to make a choice tomorrow that you maybe couldn't make yesterday with that. So so on that note, I think that's why it's so important, you know, if you kind of said supplements are having their day right now in this moment, why it's more important than ever to understand what are some of the challenges in the supplement industry, because there are some things that as consumers we need to be watching for or potentially avoiding because there's a lot of, like you said, the, the snake oil messaging and all yes. that. And in some cases, that can be true. So what should consumers be aware of or watching for in this space? or what? Are, and, and what are some of the challenges in the industry yeah. that we're up against? So there's a couple of things that come to mind. I even think of when we launched that um, multivitamin back in mm-hmm. 2002, it was really educating our consumers on why a capsule versus a one-a-day tablet, mm-hmm. right? And really, it came down to education with even what was on the bottle, if you compared both bottles back to back, you could see one that had significantly higher amounts um, of different nutrients, vitamins and minerals. But A, you can't really jam pack a high dose anything into a tablet. It also doesn't really break down in the body so your body can actually absorb it. So there's different processing of those nutrients. But it also gives us a barrier to overcome because a lot of people are like, well, there's three to six capsules I have to take is that too much and like well you only absorb so much of each thing so we do a lot of education just first on like what you're buying a lot of it people purchase based off of marketing Mm -hmm. Um, when I look at the space that's where most of the money is spent at Mm -hmm. lifetime we're a little bit different we spend a lot of the money in in the quality of the product where there's a lot of uh, convenience store options that the markups are astronomical where Mm -hmm. you're paying 300 percent of what it actually costs to make that And A, it's low quality, but B, why are you spending that much profit on there? Because the profit's going to marketing and getting people confused of what's actually available. So when I educate consumers, I'm always like, well, first of all, I want to know what's in there. So what's it be? Even if it's not right, what are they actually putting on the bottle? What are the forms of those nutrients? Um, There's more absorbable nutrients of certain vitamins and minerals. We should put those in the show notes. We have a really great guide. Um, You brought up Sam that she made that we use with trainers like, this versus that on right. certain B vitamins, um, folate specifically, that's yep. a big one, making sure people can actually absorb it. Um, so we look at the actual forms of the ingredients and then what is the actual raw ingredients? Where are they coming from? Mm-hmm. The manufacturer that's taking in that raw ingredient, do they actually test it so that it's exactly what they ordered or bought from their supplier? You would be mm-hmm. shocked at how much that is mm-hmm. off or laced with other things that right. they don't know. Um, so that's part of the raw ingredients part. But then I always think of B, the marketing, but then C, how are you actually taking it? Mm -hmm. So one other thing we're looking at too, when you look at the amounts is we'll call it pixie dusting, Mm. but it's when it's being marketed, like, Hey, these specific ingredients are in this. So right now, one big theme that we're seeing is ingestible skincare. So people will find products that be like, it has vitamin C, it's got hyaluronic acid, And we'll ask, well, how much hyaluronic acid? And they'll turn around and they're like, it doesn't say. Hmm. And I go, isn't that interesting that they are marketing a specific ingredient but not telling you how much they're actually using it? And then if you dig deeper, not everyone has time for this, but I'm like, when you find the scientific literature, what was studied on a human to show an impact with that ingredient? Mm -hmm. Um, And we, ironically, we have a product coming out later this year and we have 200 milligrams of hyaluronic acid Mm -hmm. and the studies show 120 to 130 is what was studied to show an impact on skin health, but a lot of them don't notate it. And so we'll call it pixie dusting because they'll put a proprietary blend in there of several ingredients, but they won't notate what's in there. Mm -hmm. And that's, it's hard when you, and I hate to be that person, but I'm educating. They're like, I spent 800 bucks on, you know, they right. spend a lot of money yep. and then you're like, you want it to work. So that's a whole other thing. But then I always look at, okay, so then once the manufacturer's making it, let's say they have good ingredients, they're doing the right doses, the efficacious dosages that are found and studied, then it's actually packaging it up. Where is it being stored is a thing. Um, I always tell my clients, like where you find, you know, your favorite influencers that are selling you t-shirts, if 
the supplements you're buying are in the same storage facilities of that? Are they temperature controlled? And they're like, I never thought about that. I go, yeah, how you transport certain ingredients, how you store them, it matters. It should matter. Absolutely. So just kind of like unveiling that, I think, for people. And I always say the best thing you can do is if you want to know why, email, ask them. You would be shocked at how many times I've had clients show the email responses from certain companies they've reached out to where they didn't answer the question. They said they weren't available to or they'll use the, well, it's proprietary. We can't share that information. Mm. We don't want people to copy us. And it's like, shake your head, turn away. You deserve information and transparency. And that's why I love Baram's story with us, too. It was all about let's just be transparent. Right. Why are we hiding stuff? And you'll see on all the LTH supplements, everything is notated right in there. If you have questions, you can ask us. The field of trainers loves that because uh, there's a guy on me team, Paul Kriegler, that's mm-hmm. on the show often too. We visit that manufacturer often. So we know what's there. We audit it. Yeah. We visit it. Um, and I think you would ask, like, why? Do, what do we do differently at Lifetime? And I was like, we own the whole process. Yep. We want to know where those ingredients come from. Uh, we want to make sure that, and our we picked a manufacturer that goes above and beyond what's required, and that's yeah. always part of the when people use snake oil or this industry is a little bit flawed. A lot of it comes back to how we regulate it, and there is yeah. regulations of the FDA. They haven't been touched in years, though. And I always tell people when those are developed, there was minimal companies. There's probably 10x plus the amount of companies now in the industry, and it deserves an evolution. But people find the nooks and crannies to kind of get away with certain things. We don't. We picked the best of the best. They are the most expensive, too, right? Because quality, that's where the price will go in. But they do things that they don't have to do. But we can visually see they test every raw ingredient, every batch, everything that comes in. They have stories of getting raws from other places that said it was vegan protein and it was laced with soy Mm -hmm. when it was supposed to be um yep. pea protein specifically and they say they've turned it away so yep. it's like just knowing that side of the house makes us feel a lot more confident but they run every process through like the highest quality so that we yep. know hey what's in there we work with them on our formulas to make sure it's heavily backed research efficacious dosages in human studies and right. i say that's animal not studies, animal right? studies or <laughs> nice like studies that's great to know but that's not that doesn't work <laughs> for us And then we are really big on, hey, when we get it, we actually own our own warehouse where we store it. We can make sure that it's at the right temperature. It's getting at the right speed so that we know the whole process A to Z, honestly. I literally was writing down questions as we were going, and I wrote down efficacious dose, and then you covered it yeah. without me prompting. You re- covered regulation without me prompting <laughs> yeah. it. I'm like, because I think those are such things. It's, I mean, it's one huge. of the things that I know I've directly heard Baram talk about, and you as well, is like when he did that testing, what he was also finding is like, they weren't in the doses that were promised on yeah. the labels too and so that's one of the things that we're really diligent about and making yes. sure that those things are actually accurate and Absolutely. then also going above and beyond what is required from a legislation standpoint because I think and now I'm gonna have to go back and link and fact check this but I think it was like wasn't it like 1994 that the yes. last regulations happened when it early comes 90s to, yeah for sure yeah that's, so it's it's nothing scary. has changed that's 30 years ago well, right think now. of all the supplements that just popped up post-pandemic. Right. And you're like, they all can just kind of get in and yep. then do, and then you're trusting it. And so we pick a manufacturer that does their own internal testing. But then we also, once it's a finished product, it's sent for third-party testing too. And again, yep. that's not required. You it's don't have to do that. Step. But it's an extra step for someone to say, hey, what you said is in there is in there. There's nothing in addition in there. Yep. And it's at the dosages that you described all the way down to every single nutrient that's in there right and it's expensive that's why that's i think oh people don't do it because it costs money yeah. and if it is an investment in your it's health a huge right? investment yes but even for the company it's like well if you don't have to like yeah most of them don't do that because it's not required it's not regulated to do that if they do do it let's say mm-hmm. there is maybe one of the rare handful of people or companies that do test in third party will yep. that be on the label typically will yes. they note that and then can you check that is that one of the questions yes. you could email and ask about? absolutely okay so that's we help and i think of even when i was in the club i'd have clients bring in bags of supplements right because and i i won't say i'm that person but i get i'm interested in the category too i like to see what's out there and we would go one by one and i would usually say why are you taking it Mm-hmm. And a lot of times they're like, I don't know. Yeah. Someone told me to. A doctor, a friend, a family, or I saw it back then it was on an infomercial, probably just like yeah. Instagram or social today. 
And I was like, well, isn't that a problem? You don't even know why you're taking it. Like, right. let's just start there. But then I would show them that. And I would say, well, I wouldn't take it because this form of B vitamin is in there. Or I don't like artificial anything. So sweeteners, right. colors, flavors, that's a no-go for me. And there's a lot of protein powders that have that. That's mm -hmm. usually where anything that's tasting away, usually a lot of the nasty stuff gets in there. And they're like, but it gets me to take it. I'm like, but you don't have to. And right. that's what's so cool about the industry, too. What I've seen over the last 10 years is flavors have changed. So there's mm -hmm. a lot of natural ways to enhance flavors without having to do that. Right. And I think the consumer is getting a lot smarter now. I still have clients that have stuff that they're right. like, can you look in my cabinet? What is this? And we'll still go through that exercise, but I always am like, I want it third-party tested, validated what's mm -hmm. in there. It needs to be a clean ingredient list. It needs to be something that you and I both agree is something you want help with or needed yeah. or that's missing in your food. It's, there's a gap there. There's a gap there because right? everyone's a little bit different. We yeah. have similarities in America where I, I think we're all getting too much processed foods, even the best clients of mine, but... I would still say there's certain things that some people are eating their way through and others are like, yeah, no, we need more supplement support here because yeah. you're di making certain choices that aren't giving you optimal intakes of stuff. So yeah. it's, it's sad. Oh, <laughs> yeah. it's a lot. It's a lot. So I want to talk, I mean, you, you mentioned some of the steps that Lifetime is taking with our products with LTH. Talk a little bit, like, let's use one example. Let's use one of our proteins, for instance, like from how is it sourced? And I'm yep. thinking of like, is it the cows in New Zealand yes, or whatever? Like whatever cows. that product is. So cows. love the cows. Yes. So let's start with an example. Like what's that sourcing? Like let's talk like, for pick a product and go yeah. from there. Well, okay. I would do protein or fish oil. Okay. So our fish oil, I love that story. And Brom's I'm super passionate about this too, which I love because when we launched our fish oil, there wasn't many great options out there. And right. a lot of them did have levels of mercury that weren't being purified or tested right. for. And that was kind of a big scare. And it's funny because I feel like during the pandemic that started to like resurface. I had mm -hmm. a lot of clients doing tuna because remember the meat? Oh, yeah. Remember I think everything increased and they're like, I think I have too much mercury. Should I stop the fish? Oil? I go, ours is actually clean, purified, right. tested for no mercury. But I really love our story because mm -hmm. this is another thing where it goes back to like traceability and does the company that you're purchasing from, do they share this information? If it's not public on a website, can you call them? Can you email them and ask that? And so that specific product we've had for 20 plus years, um, it comes from anchovy fish that are in Chile right off the coast. And a lot of fish oil is sourced from there because that's where a lot of those fish obviously right. live. That's where we get that. But a lot of what's really interesting is a lot of the space will market Nordic. And so mm. that it's up in Norway, kind of in those coasts. And the reality is those fish are source Pacific and then they're being shipped up there to be manufactured into fish oil. Our fishery is different. It's actually located mm -hmm. right next to uh, where it's being sourced from. So when you think of like, I always think like food miles with like yes. when you why you shop at a farmer's market, get it locally sourced. The longer something's trucking to another place, the less nutrition. So there's higher risk for rancid, uh, to become rancid when yep. it's trucking up to Norway, where ours is like right there, fresh as possible. So we choose anchovy because they're naturally lower in mercury. mercury they're yeah. not a predatory fish like salmon or anything else that could have that. So it's naturally going to be a low source anyway, but then we test it and make sure that yeah. through third party and through our manufacturer that there's no mercury mm -hmm. in it. And then for us, I think like, it's used in a triglyceride form, which is more absorbable than other fish oils out there as well. Yeah. Um, and it, it doesn't, like, it's actually high EPA and DHA. Mm -hmm. So we make sure that when you're going to take this, again, efficacious dosages where most of the market, like, yep. in one serving of ours, you'd have to take eight times that to get it. So I was like, so we've done it in a way where it's high quality. You can take less pills to get what you're getting. It's as much EPA and DHA as what's in an eight ounce filet of salmon mm -hmm. without the mercury. And so for us, we, we're really proud of that one. Yeah. And again, we were early in the space, but then as that space has evolved, there might be higher dose options out there. But then I said, well, where does it come from? And how is it being sourced and manufactured? Mm -hmm. And they don't know their story. So it's yeah. like, well, we're really confident in our story and we are very transparent about it too. So I always say that's always my first gauge with other companies, if they're not willing to share yep. and they're not going to give you the detail of it, then how does, how you do anything, I honestly is how you do everything. I think that's right. why I love our products that you visually can see the club and the quality and you're like, Oh, okay. This is 
quality is important to lifetime. Absolutely. That's yep. why we're in this space. And we want nutrition accessible and easy to make those decisions. So yep. that's kind of my favorite. But we do have happy cows in New Zealand. <laughs> we're the way. Everyone loves to hear about the happy cows, but they're in their natural environment. They're eating yep. what they're intended to eat. Um, we know the lot and the farm that they're at. So if people wanted to know that, that's information that we have. And yep. it's the best grass-fed way. It tastes amazing, yeah. but people love it. Like, it's a top skew for us, too. Yep. And for us, it's just easy access protein. Everyone needs protein, yep. but we want it to taste good. And I always think of how the protein powders have evolved. They used to be really mm -hmm. chalky and gross. And oh, now ours is so good. I had it this so morning. It's so good. Yes, it's the best. Yep. I just did the strawberry one this morning, but it tastes good and it works and it's something yep. you want to do. And that's where that story is. A lot of our customers want to do a daily shake. And if you're mm -hmm. going to do a daily shake, it can't have nasty stuff in there. Right. You know, and even as dietitians, it's like, do I go left sometimes and have an artificial sweetener here and there? Yes, but not every day. And I don't right. want it in my shake, my healthy, nutritious shake every day. So mm. we're really big about using natural ingredients. Yep. And again, uh, un like exposing that. So people are like, well, what is this on your label? We'll tell you everything. We can tell it's you right that. there. I'm going to tell you the story. Yep. And I think that's so nice to know from, it's not just the omega-3s or the whey protein. It's literally yeah. every product that we have. Yes. And that's kind of what, where I want to go next because I'm trying to think, like, how many products are available now and where are we going? Like, yeah. I know there's more coming, especially with this more with evolution that we're going through. Yeah. So I think we have close to 64 SKUs that wow. are LTH branded. Yep. And some of those have different flavor options. Okay. You know, for a lot of our workout nutrition, we have different flavors because if you're doing aminos every day, maybe you right. get bored of lemon lime and you want a different flavor. Um, and really, we've made this line for our customer that goes through the, the front door every day right. at Lifetime. So a lot of them are moving their bodies on a regular basis. Yep. It's from what their needs are. I always joke because I've been here for so long, like a lot of it is stuff I've heard in the locker room that were needs and wants. It was through customer interactions. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of parents at Lifetime. We have a lot of executives. We have a lot of entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And one thing that all of them have in general in common is stress. Good stress, but stress. Like they are like the change makers in the world. So mm -hmm. I always think by helping them with nutrition, I'm helping the world by proxy because they're such inventive high-performing people our yeah. members are they're actually incredible so we have a lot of just overall wellness stuff so you're going to find things that are common gaps in our diet so you see we have a very famous multivitamin for men and women or we have a performance one yep. so if you're someone that you know gets in the gym on a regular basis uh, that might might be a little bit better for you, depending on kind of what your activity is. Right. Um, we talked about the fish oil. We have magnesium. We have vitamin D. And those are kind of like the core ones that I would yep. say most often in blood work people are deficient, even if they're attempting to make right. it right. Even That's with scary. base nutrition, yes. right? Yep. They're All the still time. Low. That's a big offering for us. We are really big on protein. And yep. I, you will never not hear me talk about protein. It is the one macronutrient that if people focus on it, it's actually, that's when things change, mm -hmm. literally. So if you're going to track your food, track your protein, right. make intentional choices to increase your protein over time. I think when you learn what you're supposed to be doing, a lot of people are like, wow, I'm not anywhere near that. And I'm mm -hmm. like, don't double it in a day, but like gradually increase work it, work on it, work it up. Um, so we have a protein powder for just about every eating lifestyle too. Yep. So we have the vegan protein. That's a top skew for us too. So it's dairy free. Mm -hmm. Some people prefer plant proteins and some people are like, I can't do any dairy. Right. Two thirds of adults literally most of the time can't do dairy. So yep. that's a big offering for us. We also have collagen powders. Um, so as we see the line expanding, it's kind of getting more into the convenient side of things. Okay. So we have a number of skews coming off and that there's so much research coming out about gut health. And oh, yeah. we've had gut health support. Pro so we have digestive enzymes. We have probiotics. We have glutamine. Um, we have collagen. Those are always yep. kind of been the core ones. But as kind of nutrition science evolves and we have more access to certain ingredients and stuff, we're going to start filling in some of the gaps that we have there. So we have mm -hmm. colostrum coming out that's LTH yeah. branded. Um, I see a lot of inventions going on with that. We're looking at different probiotics to kind of ring through as well, too. And then I would say... There's this whole segment of person that wants to drink 
their supplements instead. Yep. So we're going to have an AM and PM drink offering. One, more of a multi-greens that would be a multi vitamin to actually drink instead of taking the capsules. I'll probably do both because I <laughs> like to be <laughs> optimal. So I'll still take my multi, but I'll drink this too. Okay. And then we have an evening one we're calling dream just to support mm. restorative sleep. So there's some great adaptogens in there, magnesium, um, magnesium. I, we've had a magnesium for a long time, but there's 12 plus forms of magnesium. So again, filling in the different gaps, making it simple though, because that's right. overwhelming to hear, right? Where you're like, now I got 12 forms, where do I do? Forms, do, I do? Yeah. yeah, can I eat it? So again, just making it more accessible and kind of fitting the need of our customer of what they want and desire. And I would say over time, it's just continually like, how can I take less pills? How can I make it easy? Make it taste good. Right. And those are kind of the three things we look at when we're looking at a product, but for a lot of us, it's just, you know, we're also, we recently launched a kid's line. And Literally, we want, you're taking uh, all my questions away, Annika. I literally I'm just sorry. wrote that down. No, keep going. Talk we, about kids. There's an evolution happening there. And yeah. I, you know, I've always been a big proponent of kids' nutrition. I think there's just different lenses people look at it through. Mm -hmm. So I have some customers and clients that are very much like, I don't really care about what my kids eat, but I'm going to offset it with supplements. Then I have people that make really intentional family choices, but right. still want optimal. And then I have other people that are like, do we care about kids' health that much? Like, they're probably fine. Like, metabolically, they're not as damaged. You know, we saw right. that during the pandemic. Like, why yep. did adults, you know, react so poorly to that virus versus kids? So it's kind of taking people where they're at and where mm -hmm. they're willing to go. But I would say with kids in general – if the adults are eating too much processed foods, you can imagine what's happening to the kids. I think we all are seeing it, that kids are not as healthy as they once were. Even if they're active, even if they're going outside, yeah. I try to help parents look through it. Like, don't look at your kid's body from the outside, because I think that's where a lot of it comes from. They're like, oh, my kid is fine. They're like, active. Yeah. They t eat pretty well most of the time. Yes. Right? Yeah. And then a lot of the discussions lead into my kid can't fall asleep. My kid's really anxious and mm -hmm. stressed out. So I feel like there's a lot more pressure on kids that we 100%. we just don't – we think of them as just resilient. And I'm mm -hmm. always like, yes, but, like, yeah. let's support them. So we're looking at a lot of really cool things. We've seen a lot of cool things with the stuff that we've launched, but we're looking at ways to help kids calm down and sleep that are natural, non-melatonin-based. Yep. Um, for every ingredient we talk about, I feel like every customer I run into, they're like, but online it says this, and then it says this. And I'm like, well, let's look at you and your situation. And maybe that right. ingredient, people are saying they shouldn't do that, but maybe it actually helps you or your child right now. And it right. really, that's the lens I try to teach through. Like, you got to be your own advocate. I'm here yes. to help and guide you through the information. There's too much information out there, though. Oh, my gosh. It's confusing. So much. So how do you find a really quality source yeah. to make sure we go? I mean, we're hopefully, we're aiming to be a quality source Correct. so we can tell these stories yes. and be able to show you where things are at yes. and show you the research behind them as well, again, Absolutely. at the human level. Well, and how nice does that feel if you can walk into a store and you're like, I know it's all good, so I just need to find the things for me. Like, that's right. what we're trying to do with LTH. Like, you know the quality yep. story. You know we care about raw ingredients. We care about – we're not going to put something on the shelf that's never been shown to work with mm -hmm. a human. And you have access to experts that can actually answer the additional questions that you might have. That's what we're trying to be so that yep. anything we put on that shelf, you're like, I know it's trusted. I know it's quality. Yep. I can ask more questions if it's something for me or not. Right. And you take it yourself. Yes. I mean, I think, again, we're not – and this is something that I know, Baram, he's he's written about this in a recent oh letter gosh, for yes. the magazine, was really like, I wasn't going to recommend something that I wasn't taking no. myself. And that was a really important part of why he – like advocated for yes. him to get in this space Absolutely. in the first place. Absolutely. And there's, so, I mean, I take a lot of our stuff, but there's some skews, like I've never taken pre-workout. It's not yeah. me and that's okay. Yeah. It's not for everybody, but I know two or three other dietitians on the team that take it regularly. Yeah. So you're always going to have access to somebody, but I think that's like the helpful part too, is like, yeah, we never want to feel selling. It's mm -hmm. more like things that we found. And like I was saying, we built for members. Part of that is our team members. Yes. Our personal trainers, they, I mean, I feel like I have a degree and a medical license, but the amount that I learned from them my first couple years at Lifetime, yeah. I could never pay for mm -hmm. because literally you're working with people that 
have all sorts of different clientels, have had to figure out strategies uniquely of health and fitness for those individuals. And I just remember feeling so lucky that I had access to all these people because they are early. They're like those optimal humans. They'll just do anything for the health of it. Yeah. It's they don't have to wait till they get sick. It's not till a parent or someone in their family like changes their life course where they're going to get healthy. They're just healthy. They want to be proactive. Like that's a that's a value right from the start. That's why they're They're probably in this profession in the first place, right? And that's why the protein powder specifically, I cannot. I need them to taste as good as possible with just water because yep. those trainers back to back all day, they yep. have no time to sit and eat. So they need to like down a shake in between two yep. hour sessions. And I always think of them for half mm-hmm. the stuff too. Like what would help them? How do I help their body respond to stress better when yep. they're working their tails off and yep. for an industry where it's really, it's so easy in this world, you know, to be unhealthy. Like yes. that's why I love lifetime. That's why I stayed here was, I love that you can be in there and not make an unhealthy decision. You're Mm -hmm. in this like little hemisphere ecosystem where everything is health. What a great place to be in. And so our trainers, we build for too, to make sure that they have all the nutrition needs to support what they love to do. Mm. It's the best. It's so good. And as a team member, I'm not a trainer, but I'm somebody who like is constantly learning about new health things and writing about it and reporting on it with the team. And it's something that, you know, my own evolution has been like learning those things and adapting my individualized program again. Again, remember it's individualized, but it's been such a, like to be able to gain that knowledge myself, then be able to ask people when I have questions and then be able to pass that information along to our readers as we're fact checking and doing these things. It's huge to be able to educate and empower with that. Absolutely. Well, and we always laugh because we have this small team, but then team members are then asking about their family members. Like, what do you think about my sister? We're like, like, that's fine. Just throw it at us. We... (laughs) It's not work, right? Right. It's just like, yeah, if you You can't share what you're great at, what is the point of being on this planet? Like everyone should just share what what they know and what they love. So Uh that's what we love to do. Well, you're so passionate about this. You can see that every episode we've done with you, that your knowledge and your passion for it comes through. My last question, and then we have to wrap things up, but is, you know, where do you see LTH going in the next five to 10 years? I mean, like you are, you're constantly learning, you're seeing the trends, but what do you see for our brand in particular? I think where, and I look at lifetime through this lens too, is just like full accessibility. Mm -hmm. It's been a secret on the shelves inside of the four walls. So for us, and I have a lot of members that I still, they're like, oh, I just don't ever go in the cafe. I never knew you had supplements. This is amazing. But I want LTH to be fully accessible to all the friends and family of members of lifetime, Mm -hmm. honestly, so that even if you're not in our access to show up at our clubs every day you're taking those products you're bringing lifetime yep. to you in a very individual specific high quality way and I really see us being an online business mm-hmm. so it's accessible to people that aren't coming in through the four walls so if you're a digital member that's free at lifetime now which is yep. great we all love that so you have access to content and programs you have access to the products in there now too, yes. which wasn't really the thing even a year ago. Mm-hmm. So for us, it's more sharing the message. And so I always think from what I've learned through working with the trainers, working through other corporate folks like yourself too, work. my team is kind of the referral. Like, hey, mm-hmm. I know a guy that can get you that information. We want to be that for more people. Yes. And that's always something when people would have to leave Lifetime or um, would move out of market, they'd be like, I just wish I could still talk to you. And mm-hmm. we always Always figure out ways but like being that so like you feel like you know that expert so if you have a question yeah. you can get the right information and answer but you also know if we don't know we know how to get the answer We're gonna so find you'll the get way. you'll get the answer but we want to be that for people people mm-hmm. need that they need the convenience of it mm-hmm. but nutrition's not going anywhere so why <laughs> not share it with more people so you can feel good and I think of just the last five years watching what's happened in the brain health and just overall health space for people, yep. people need this more than ever. So how yep. do we give them that solution so they're still part of lifetime, even if they're not coming in on a yep. regular basis? That's huge. And I think, yeah, just to reiterate that point, like the Lifetime app has made it much easier, whether yes. you live near a Lifetime or not, to be able to access not just some of the programming and the the workouts, but yeah. also the nutritional products, the educational content, all of these pieces that go hand in hand. And it's really, truly is like this ecosystem where it's like we can support your healthy way of life wherever you're struggling right now, whether yeah. it's nutrition or otherwise. Yeah. So it's such a lifestyle it. brand. It really is. Yeah. People love and people, our members said it before we did. I think yeah. it's always been about Lifetime, not yeah. really 
necessarily yeah. the place, but like yeah. the brand and. I'm excited to where it's going to go. I really am. That's awesome. Well, David is not here today, but I'm here. And I don't have a great (laughs) mic drop moment question for you, but you know we always end with this. So I'm just going to ask this one thing. Like, If there was just one LTH product that you could take with you to a a deserted island, what would it be? Fish oil. Fish oil, for sure. Yeah. Okay. People think we just had this debate, not that exact context, but we were like, what's the one thing? And we yeah. all have our own answer, which is yeah. great. So you should ask everyone on my team. But I, that is the one I, I yell at everybody. <laughs> like, I'm really honest. I'm like that really direct dietitian, but I'm like, don't ever quit the fish oil. Right. And I was joking because I had somebody ask me recently, talking about hair growth, yep. and they're asking about biotin and all the other great ingredients out there. But I was like, but are you taking your fish oil? And they're like, no. And I'm like, you never stop your omega-3. <laughs> And it just comes from, you know, we get too much omega-6. Everyone's inflamed. Yep. Uh, there's a lot of great books coming out kind of saying, hey, disease in general all leads back to inflammation. Yes. If there was one thing. And then I got into this industry for brain health. I'm mm-hmm. all, I'm the mental health diet. Like that is my, I yep. work out for the mental health of it. And I think it's incredible what it does mm-hmm. for the brain. And we all need yeah. a little bit more of that. Yeah, and we have a lot of content on fish oil, Yay! you know, on the yes. website. There's yes. more that's coming. So, actually, I heard you talk about, and kind of like you said, I'm pretty direct about this. We were in a recent meeting, and Annika just was like, you guys, the fish oil is the yes. thing. you got to take this. Do not quit this. Do not ever. quit the fish oil. It's so the best. I love oh. it. Well, Annika, thank you so much for coming on again. I know there's a lot more coming from LTH. We're going to keep our eyes peeled. We'll have more content coming out about it. But okay. if people want to follow you, there's you've written a lot of content for Experience Life. Yes. That's at experiencelife.lifetime.life. Search up the past episodes of the podcast. We can link to those in the show notes. And then they can follow you at Coach Annika on Instagram. Anywhere else? Yeah. Did I miss anything? No, that's perfect. All my wealth and knowledge is on EL or Experience Life. So. Yeah. I love that. Oh, well, thank you, Annika. Thanks I'm sure you'll be me. back soon, but thank you. Sounds good.